What's up everyone? In this video I was going to show you guys some pretty interesting things that have popped up recently in the game. In case you don't know, recently there were a few new important changes and details added within Fallout 76 through patches. This actually started when the Wild Appalachia DLC dropped, and ever since there has been new details added, I guess to prepare more for what's to come in the future within this 100 day roadmap. They're just slowly but surely adding more and more content in, which is pretty smart to ease into. I feel if they just added in everything at once, there would probably be more issues than what there are currently. I will say, I gotta give them credit. Bethesda has seriously tightened up on their game since launch. They cleaned up so many bugs before this Wild Appalachia DLC. And of course, they still are and will be working on improving this game over time. In this video though, I'm going to be showing you some of the new interesting details that have popped up around Fallout 76 since the Wild Appalachia DLC. Some of them have actually been pretty recent. So to start this off, I'll be showing where the new legendary vendor will be located at. In case you don't know, there will be a new mysterious vendor named Purveyor, and we will be able to exchange and scrap our unwanted legendary items for new legendary gear from this vendor. So it seems legendary gear will be the currency to even deal with Purveyor. Now this honestly reminds me, for those of you that have played Destiny, of Xur. We would get to encounter him on the weekends and be able to spend a specific currency on exotic gear. But yeah, anyways, back to Purveyor, we got a quick glimpse of him in action in one of the recent trailers of the Wild Appalachia DLC. And this quick glimpse actually gave us some insights of his surroundings, as you can see. You can notice a few power armors behind him, as well as a few weapons hanging, and not to mention 83 South Street sign. So yeah, this kind of enlightens us of what he is going to be around. But recently some Fallout 76 players, I'm not exactly sure who were the first to stumble upon this, found these details in game over at Berkeley Springs, which is located right here. If you decide to fast travel over here, you should spawn over in this general vicinity. And when you get here, right around this area is where the players actually found where the legendary vendor will be located at. He'll be located over inside the Berkeley Springs train station. At the moment, this is not a marked area on the map, and we cannot get inside this building whatsoever. It is completely sealed off. However, if we go up to the windows, we can find some openings that we can look through to see what's inside this building. And, well, this window really doesn't have the greatest angle, but you can see a little bit of details that are inside this place. If you come over here though, you can get a much better angle of what's inside, and you can notice a lot of details that were in the quick glimpse of the legendary vendor purveyor. As you can see, we got the two power armor helmets in the back here, as well as above them we got the weapons board. We can see a little bit of that. And below the power armor helmets, we can also see a few armor pieces, but yeah, as you can see, these are the same details around the legendary vendor. Some other things to take note of that's inside this place. You can see a stash box in sight here on the far left side if you're looking at it from this angle. Also something else, if you take a good look at the sign above that says free stuff, you can see that it has stars on it as well. And I believe this is symbolizing like two star, three star, you know, how legendaries are ranked by how many stars they have and what effects they do. I believe this is just like a little extra detail the developers decide to add in with this special vendor that we'll be able to interact with on May 23rd. This is when this legendary vendor will be available to all of us. At the moment, we can only see where it will be located at. Once again, it'll be located over here at Berkeley Springs train station. Also, something else that I wanted to point out, since it is nearby, I wanted to make more players aware of this, but yeah, you can actually find a trailer over here near Berkeley State Park, and inside this trailer, you can find some strange drawings, such as, it looks like as if an alien abduction is happening here. You can also find a tin foil hat over here. And if you come over here, you can see that someone was on a serious hunt for something. I'm assuming aliens, since that's the drawings that are around in this trailer. Anyways, lastly, if you come over to the restroom of this place, you can find a bunch of question marks on the wall and three UFOs. So that makes a total of four UFOs in this trailer drawn on the wall. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, and if this will have anything to do with the Wild Appalachia DLC. This could have something to do with future DLC 
further down the road. But I have to say, I am pretty stoked to encounter aliens whenever we do. I just wanted to point this out to you all since it is nearby. Okay, so speaking of a serious hunt, this next newly added detail will be a part of the new Lying Low questline, which will be a part of how we will track down the Sheep Squatch. Anyways, over here you will notice in the middle of nowhere near Lewisburg, you can find these three tracking devices. And these tracking devices are actually newly added details here recently. I think these were actually added within the recent hotfix that we had. I don't know exactly, but I know they were added pretty recent. They were not here when the Wild Appalachia DLC first dropped, I will mention. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there's also a Wendigo here too, so keep that in mind. Plan for marine armor limbs. And a bunch of that junk too. Okay. But anyways, back to these newly added details. I'm not exactly sure when these were exactly implemented into the game, but they are new in Flaw 76. And I believe we will be interacting with these sometime within the Lying Low quest line, which will be getting soon April 9th. After all, that quest line revolves around beginning in Lewisburg, so it does make sense. And within that quest line, we're going to be having to hunt down the new cryptid, which is the Sheep Squatch. So, yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting to get a little sneak peek of what's to come and what we'll be interacting with within the quest line. I mean, I don't know for sure if this has to do with the Lying Low quest line, but it's awfully suspicious that it just now appeared near Lewisburg when it's about to be releasing April 9th. Also, if you go inside the cabin here, you can find some loot, and you can also find this detective case file as well, which I think could also be pinpointing toward the Sheep Squatch, because after all, that quest line is all about mystery. But yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting to point out since it may be coming soon. And by the way, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I wouldn't have even known about this if it wasn't for the content creator that goes by Gamer Mom over 50 Apparently, she showed off this location as an area you could build your camp at, and one of her subscribers ended up getting in contact with her, mentioning that you can no longer build a camp here because of some newly added details around the area. So, yeah, that's how all of this chain reacted, which I thought was a pretty interesting chain reaction I wanted to share. Okay, so lastly up here, some of you may have watched a video where I went over this mysterious vault that recently appeared up here when the Wild Appalachia DLC dropped. For those of you that haven't seen that, well, on the vault, there was a purple square blocking the vault number, so no one was really sure on what the vault was. Now, here recently, the vault number has been revealed to be Vault 51. I'm not exactly sure what's going to be taking place in here, whether or not we're going to be interacting with human NPCs, or this may be some kind of specific vault raid that we'll be able to do over and over for some interesting loot, or there could be something at the end of this vault that we could use to chain react a section of the map, kind of like how if we get to the end of a nuke silo were able to launch a nuke to chain react a section of the map. I mean, you never know what's going to be in here. Although, I will say it has piqued my interest and I'm excited to find out because this is in such a random concealed area in the woods. Like, why was a vault put way out here in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. I'm stoked to find out though. But, yeah, that's why wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and you learned something new out of this. I basically made this to get everybody more pumped up for the future content to come. It's interesting seeing the new content pop up early before we actually get to play on it. And I thought you all might be interested in seeing that as well. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.